the world's mightiest beasts wield awesome power. But ever wonder who would win when nature's heavyweights go head to head? These battles do happen in the wild, but we rarely witness them. So, to see who's the ultimate champion, to understand their true power, and appreciate their skills, we stage our own battles in a virtual arena. As our animals take shape, experts compare their strengths and weaknesses. With specially built biomechanical machines, we test their might. Finally, our virtual contenders come face to face for the ultimate showdown, Animal Face-Off. The sperm whale and the colossal squid, the biggest predators on the planet, their mortal enemies, their legendary fights recorded by ancient mariners. But these epic battles happen in places so remote or waters so deep, they've remained a mystery till now. The giant sperm whale on a permanent search and destroy mission. The colossal squid, a living sea monster that fears nothing and attacks everything. Now. These leviathans will meet in a duel to the finish at the bottom of the sea. In a high-tech lab, an international team of experts gathers. Their mission, reveal the secrets of nature's ultimate face-off. Okay guys, I'm really excited about this one. Colossal squid versus sperm whale. Dave Salmoni, zoologist and expert in predator psychology. Dave will be our guide in this Battle of the Beasts. It's got stealth, it's got invisibility, it's got these seriously nasty hooks on the tentacles and on the arms. Dr. Steve O'Shea, a world leader in squid research. This is the largest squid I have ever seen in my life. Steve is the scientist you call when you've landed a sea monster. To actually see this specimen up close and personal like this is probably one of the highlights of my life right now. So the colossal squid sounds like a, a tremendous predator, but it also sounds like it's got a tremendous number of predator avoidance mechanisms. And what it's trying to avoid, that is what's hunting it, is the sperm. Professor Scott Baker, expert in whale behavior. He knows the strengths and weaknesses of the world's biggest predator. They are the most amazing animals on the planet. You know, if you were to invent an animal, you would never create a squid. It's just, I want to be here in 100 million years time and see what they've turned into. Think about what a whale has done in 60 million years. An animal that looked probably like a carnivorous cow is able to go down 3,000 feet. This is going to be a big fight, guys. This is going to be a colossal fight. <laughs> <laughs> We'll build mechanical versions of the colossal squid and sperm whale to test their powers and demonstrate their weapons. Next, we'll combine the results of our tests with behavioral information and chilling accounts from seafarers to pinpoint strengths and weaknesses. Then we'll program computerized sea giants for a virtual battle that will reveal which is the ultimate predator. The challenge, these great predators are a giant mystery. There are so many things about squid that we just don't understand, and I think the same applies to the sperm whale. These are colossal animals, both of them, yet we know almost nothing. Sailors reported sightings of the colossal squid for centuries, but only recently have we confirmed they exist. Some basic facts. It grows to at least 35 feet. At more than 900 pounds, it's the largest squid we know of. 
He lives in icy darkness, a mile down at the edge of Antarctica. It has eight powerful arms and two tentacles with suckers and hooks. The final piece of weaponry, a slashing beak. The colossal squid may also use camouflage to vanish in the blink of an eye. This is a teenager. Adults likely reach twice this size. Ancient stories of the Kraken, the original sea monster, suggest we've met the colossal squid before. We just didn't know what it was. These tales were once written off as fantasies, but today we see truth in sketches left by ancient mariners. Eight muscular arms, huge eyes, the telltale shape of the fin. No fantasy, but a living nightmare. The same ancient stories tell of battles between the squid and another giant. Sperm whales can grow more than 60 feet long and weigh 40 tons. They're the biggest predator that's ever lived. But how they live is shrouded in mystery. They roam the world's oceans and can dive two miles deep in search of food. They're also one of the planet's noisiest animals. We know they're armed with more than 47 inch teeth, but don't know how they use them. And we know sperm whales eat a lot of squid, equal to the weight of every man, woman, and child on Earth. That's 100 million tons a year. Battles between our two sea giants rage along the Antarctic ice shelf. That's where we found our most complete specimen of a colossal squid. It's also where the biggest sperm whales come to hunt. At 6,500 feet, the temperature is just above freezing, and the pressure is one and a half tons per square inch. Yet this is where squid and whale fight to the death. This is the stuff of nightmares, of frozen continents, inky black water, the world's largest predator, fighting a giant that's never been taken alive. How do we know these battles happen? The whales tell us. The evidence comes in the wake of a tragedy. A pod of young sperm whales washed up on a New Zealand beach. Their bodies carry the scars of battles with colossal squid. Well, this is one of 12 male sperm whales that have washed in, just stranded. And what we're doing right now, we're actually taking squabs or squares of the tissue off because to get the scar tissue, to actually get some of the sperm well is pretty priceless. And then we're going to